Hey there, I'm Sarah from Remarkity, and in this video, we're going to create a pop-up sign-up form. Pop-up forms are a simple way to present your customers with a call to action. Sign up for newsletters, discount codes, general updates, and plenty more. There are a variety of ways to make your pop-up creative, and you are not limited to what you can offer. The goal is to get your customers on your email list. You can pick and choose multiple pages on your website to show the pop-up form. So let's get started. From your Remarkity dashboard, go to Manage Contacts and Pop-up Sign-up Form. Right off the bat, we can see Remarkity's demo pop-up. The Builder page is categorized by Settings, Design, and Background Image. We want to start by personalizing our settings. We'll start from the left and work our way down. In the first line is the customer tag name. Anyone who leaves their email in the pop-up will be assigned the customer tag name. The tag will be the trigger condition in the email campaign associated with the pop-up. So we can set the name to something like Welcome Pop-Up or Welcome 15 Off Pop-Up. Pop-Up Enabled needs to be set to Yes for the pop-ups to show. And we recommend setting the Show Once Per User to Yes so that customers will only see the pop-up the first time they visit your site. If it is set to No, then the customer will see your pop-up every time they visit that page. The preview button at the bottom of the page will help you get a sense of what your pop-up will look like as you make changes in the editor. In the second row, change the width of the pop-up by dragging the cursor along the modulator bar. Now at 20%, you can see it's much smaller. If I'd like to make it larger, 90%, it'll be much longer across the page. 40% is a good place to stay. For the pop-up to show up instantly, leave the delay time at 1000 milliseconds, which is equivalent to one second. If you'd like to give the customer a few seconds to look at your homepage, you can delay the pop-up time a little bit more. The animation time affects how much time it takes for the pop-up to actually come into the frame. You can have your pop-up come in anywhere on your page by editing the position setting. If you want to grab your customer's attention, I recommend putting it on center center. If you'd like a softer approach, set a longer animation time and position in right bottom. Again, use the preview button as a resource as you make your changes. So let's save the changes we've made so far and move over to the design tab. Your title can be anything. Good things are happening inside, a simple welcome. But let's say I'm selling workout gear. I'm gonna make my title something catchy. Something like, you have to burn it to earn it. Add your personal touch by choosing your own font, size, and color. The subtext is a good place to add your call to action. You can explain what you're offering. Something like, subscribe now for 50% off your first order. and be in the know about our newsletters, sales, and deals. You can change the content size too, adjust the font, and change the color as well. You can change the submit button text as well to anything. Subscribe, sign up, whatever you prefer, change the button background color and the button font color. use the preview button as a resource as you make your changes. The footer text is typically used for disclaimers, so the customer knows their email information is secure. But you can really make the footer text anything you'd like. We treat your data confidentially and don't share any information with third parties. It's something that we've typically seen customers do. The last row has all the additional adjustments. The size of the X button, which you can make smaller, as you see here, or much larger as well. The close button color, keep it as gray. The border radius, which curves the corners of the pop-up, as you can see here. And the field border radius, which curves the corners of the subscribe box within the pop-up. I'm setting mine to zero to give it more of a square look. So now we can save our changes and add our background image. 
As I said, for my demo store, we're selling workout clothes. And if you'd like to position your image differently, click here to play around with how the image will look. You can set the image as the background, set the image below the title, above the title, anything you prefer. So you can also change the background color. You can stick with a clean white look or change the color to really make the pop-up stand out. If you'd like to change the transparency of your pop-up, use this modulator bar here and drag it down. Now we can preview what that looks like and as you see, you can it's a little bit more transparent and you can see the content behind it. Great. Now we're done with the designing phase and we can save all changes that we've made. Phase two involves clicking on the JS code tab and this code will connect your store with the pop-up form you have just designed. Copying and pasting the JS code into your HTML code right above the body tag on the pages of your website where you want the pop-up to show. And after that, you're all set. Your new pop-ups will now be available to anyone browsing on your website.